right, all right. I think we're uh, we're live. How's it going, everyone? Good to see you. Welcome back to some vintage story. Chris might still be at work right now, okay? So if you hear work emails in the background, just ignore them. Okay, oh, there it goes. Uh, so, yeah, it's been <laughs> work. Let me tell you, this is the busiest non-work day I've ever had in my life. Oh, boy, someone, someone, they might have killed our whole financial system today. All right. Um, welcome back to Vengeance Story. It is April the 6th. It has been a few days uh, since the stream. I wanted to get some um, chiseling done between the streams so that we have something to kind of come back to. And because of that, our, our crops have been growing too. Hey, it's our uh, rooster. They make a noise. All right, let's head on out here. Take a look, see around, see if there's any Jeffs. Jeff, get out of here, Jeff. Don't don't go after my chickens, Jeff. Get out of here. You're not allowed. No, no chickens for you. I'm sorry, chickens. I'm sorry. Yes, I know it's Jeff. He's hungry. It's okay. He's just a little dirty. You guys okay now? Okay. Well, you're freaking out. You're freaking out. All right, I, I'm sorry. You watch early from work. There you go. No, we uh, we had a full database crash all day, and they have been restoring the database. And <laughs> uh, 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 I have a meeting at 10 o'clock p.m. 10 p.m. here in like two hours that I have to go to. So that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Anyways, you'll notice that we have a lot more chickens. Um, they just keep showing up. And I just keep letting them in. You know, I can't say no. They just want to come visit. Uh, ooh, we have two fertile eggs in this box. Uh, I knocked out this wall. The chickens got stuck behind the boxes here and they couldn't get out. So I knocked out the whole wall. We're going to be kind of reforming a new doorway that's a little bit bigger and a little bit more central. And um, I might only have like a couple boxes in here. It looks like they kind of get stuck in the corner a lot like that you can see so you know they're they're happy happy little chickens it looks like having an okay time good job chickens good job yeah that's not good indeed so if we come down here what do we got I went ahead and planted the field take a look at it in all of its glory yeah, there, there's a gap because it's chiseled blocks and the fence doesn't snap to chiseled blocks. Um, so you'll see gaps here and on the other side. I don't think the babies will be able to fit through it, but that's something I suppose we'll find out at some point. But uh, if we come down here, here we go. Look at all this wonderful food crops we got a lot of mature flax that we'll be cutting down for all the goodies um, we got a bunch of mature carrots over here that are grown and a few growing parsnips at the moment we got our first growing pumpkin it looks like the ivy is spread around which is pretty cool I like that. And then over here, we have some mature uh, spelt. We have some mature rye that's getting up in the growing stages. We got some mature onions, uh, growing cabbages, and then a two fields that are currently laying fallow because we don't have enough seeds. But honestly, we might let the fields lay fallow and rotate through. So we might just shift everything to the left and then rotate them through this and let the fi the fallowed field kind of go through, um, maybe regen some nutrients. I'm not sure how that quite works, but will be interesting to see how that goes. Okay. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. 
as we get ready for our first harvest here. There we go. And we will grab a scythe. I think I'll store this chisel and hammer real fast. We actually have two scythes, so I guess we can use both. No harm in that. Actually, I have a bunch of things I need to st <laughs> Oh man, inventory management is becoming a bit of a problem. Becoming a bit of a problem. So, for those of you who uh, want to see more Vintage Story, I know Raptor has been streaming this as well. There's also a couple other creators that I'll probably link to um, at the end of the stream or something like that. Some, some other people, small channels that I think uh, showcase this game very well. So just an FYI on that. Okay, I think this is enough. Hey, Matthew. Good to see you as well. Hold on until we get back. Okay, wait a second. Connect. Connect. Somebody trying to print every P on the system. Yeah. Uh, man. I guess I have a lot of research to do for work. And a lot of things that I didn't do today that needs to get done and caught up. Okay, that's enough. Well. Okay, so if I come across here, we can go ahead and harvest this flax. Awesome. All the goodies. Looks like items float in water. Good to know. Nothing's gonna get lost. So we're gonna use all the grain for flax and use that for our animals. Because I wanna be able to at least keep them fed decently well, because well, we'll hopefully get some more chickens out of that. Right there. I was a little worried this thing would be cleaving into the other crops, but it doesn't look like that's the case just yet. There's a good harvest. We got 46 flax seeds out of that. Let's see if that's enough to replant. I'm gonna go ahead and replant everything in the same spot just to see kind of what that does to the soil and to see what kind of uh, seeds we get back on harvest. Because I'm hoping that we increase the amount of seeds. Huh. Okay, we only gained two flax seeds out of that. So we got some mature parsnips. And it looks like we did not gain all the parsnip back. So that's kind of an incentive to keep exploring. Doesn't look like we're going to get exactly everything that we used. Look at all these carrots. Can't stick around or cooking dinner. Oh, we'll be here afterwards. We're gonna try and store this stuff as soon as possible. So you can see the K crop is down by like a good percentage. So K crop here though is okay. So because of that. I'm going to rotate them over to this field and as an experiment I'm waiting to see what the K crop value does on this side. Ooh, a mature pumpkin! Okay, we're getting some mature pumpkins too guys. I'll take those. 
I'll leave the vines, see if we get another little grouping there. Gotta check my work. Okay, so we got uh, some mature rye. Stuff, we're, we're, not, we're gonna let that fully grow a little bit. We got some mature onions here. Hopefully the scythe only cuts the mature stuff. Maybe. Look at all these onions. Okay, so this is a pea crop. Harvest, success, almost a stack of flax grain. I don't know how much these chickens are going to eat long term. But, uh, let's see, how many can I fit? Eight per box. Fill these up. And in the morning, maybe check to see uh, how they do on their food. All right, sit down here, store everything. I uh, guess we'll do the first one, vegetables. Should be okay. Second one can be grain. So you can see these vegetables down here, gonna keep for 90 some days. Uh, some of them even a year. Onions don't stay fresh that long, don't lie to me, game. Then seeds, we can put in our seed jar up here. Okay. Seeds, that's fine. Now the pumpkins. Can I like use a knife on it and like cut off a slice? No. Can I use pumpkin for anything special? Ingredient for pumpkin slice crafting. Okay, yeah, I can I can cut off slices. Fresh for 18 days. The chickens do not need water. Technically, they do in real life. Please water your chickens, people. Uh, but currently, no. 80 days. Pumpkins are good for 80 days. Fibers. Got a good amount of flax fibers out of that. Which I'm pretty excited for. Because with flax comes flax twine. And with flax twine, we can start making gamisoned armor. And then also. make some leather bracers, leather gloves, leather boots, blacksmithing apron with that. A lot of options with that. season is underway then. So chickens eating their food. 
And let's take a look at our apiary. So you can see the apiary's changed a little bit uh, since the last stream. I have finished carving out the frames. So it looks pretty good here, as you can see. I took off the thatch roofing because I think the thatch roofing is a little weird. Also, is there a storm front on the horizon? Dang, big storm. Um, I might add a, a chiseled roof onto this at some point, but for now, I just want to get the framework in. And I think that turned out very good. We're like a little A-frame structure to hold these little beehives on there. Hope you guys like that. I might need to do something with the shelf to try and tie it to this cross beam. Because right now it's a little spacey, so maybe we can do that here. <laughs> oh man. Do you guys hear? Someone was running reports at one in the morning in our system. What for? What wood is this? Maple? So we need some maple planks. Do we have any? Oak stuff. Check in here, never know. What might be in there? Maple's already made. That's walnut. Guess not. Do we have any maple wood? A lot of oak there. A lot of oak there. Oh man, I need I need a storage hut. For like chest storage. Oh, we got maple. So we can do this and bring the frame in. And that's not much chiseling that we have to do for that. By the way, how's everyone's Friday? Hopefully having a good one. Now the shelf is flush. Mm, not quite the same on this side, is it? Thank Jeff, it's Friday. True. There we go. Now the bees look a little bit happier. Uh, one second, I have to respond to this. Um...
How do I want to respond to this work thing? I don't think I need to respond. I'll let the DBA handle that. I'm not the DBA. I'm just a system admin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank Jeff, it's Friday. There you go. Hey, low cat, how's it going? Welcome. You're more than welcome to uh, join for a few. Go ahead and eat. Because we ended up sleeping through most of the day because uh, uh, it gets bright out so early now. <laughs> I'm not used to it. Um, I think it gets daylight around 5 a.m. at this point. And we'll have to check on the bees. We have to check, go check on our bees, chat. So you can see it's 5 a.m. Look how bright it is. Already. Pretty crazy. All right, let's go check on our bees. Um, also, since we slept, I want to check to see how much food they consumed. Over here. Ooh, chicken egg. Our first egg. Five, seven, one. So they ate seven, eight, plus three. So this amount of chickens, they kind of cons. Oh, we got more eggs. Um, so these chickens, it looks like they kind of go through a, a, about a box and a half of food a day. How long do the eggs last? Five days? Okay. Let's put them in the meat jar here. 16 days. All right, now we can go check on the bees. And we might have to water our crops. There's no bunnies in here, are there? All right, I'm keeping an eye on you, field. So between streams, I went and checked on the bees. Um, the flowers I planted were out of range. So what I did was I made a little dirt platform and moved some of the flowers up. And that seemed to have caused them to be in range. So we just had to wait a few days. And I think that might swarm. Hopefully. If they swarm, we'll be pretty good. See, see how I had to do this. Not the most elegant solution in the world. I hear the bees. Empty scap. We'll swarm in less than a day. Look at that. 17 nearby flowers. So hopefully they will swarm into our scap. I'm excited for that. So we can quickly run back now. Yep. Yep. Ooh, okay. There you go, database admin. I did not know that. So here, in case you're curious, I'm gonna tell you guys what went wrong at work today. At one in the morning, our transaction log for our database was at one, less than 1% usage. By six in the morning, actually not even six, by three in the morning, it was at 100% usage. And by 6 a.m., the backup drive failed too. 
So basically, we had a transaction holding up the whole log from being truncated and deleted over time naturally because that job never finished and failed to back out. And therefore, when everyone woke up in the morning, the whole database crashed and had to be restored. There you go. That is the story of my day. Now you know. For those of you who cared, probably no one cared. All right. So, things I need to do and work on. What were we gonna work on today, chat? I don't remember. Obviously the farm, obviously the bees. I guess I could blacksmith a pickaxe out of iron. See how that goes. Real quick. So with an iron pickaxe, we have an iron hammer. I also want to make nukes. Hmm. Hmm. I might need a little bit more coal to properly enter the nuclear to transaction log. Uh, a transaction log, at least in the definition that I'm using it, is while something is happening, like writing to or from, um, we don't have someone working the night shift yet. We don't, we don't have, you know. Our DBA does have an announcement to go out when like something dramatic like that happens all of a sudden, but everyone wants to sleep, so GG. Um, so basically, um, when, it, when it writes from or to the database, it's, it's keeping a backup copy in case it needs to undo itself. And we had a, a we have a nightly job that writes years worth of transactions and calculations and revenue adjustments. So so basically, this one transaction opened up the log and because that first transaction that couldn't be finished kept the log open and every new transaction afterward just kept feeding the log and never cleaned itself up. If that makes sense. I don't know if I explained that right. I'm not a really a DBA, um, but from my, from what they're talking about, that's the gist that I'm getting. Uthris writes some SQL script and queries the database, but he does not add it. <laughs> I don't think you'd want Uthris to add in the database. All right, we gotta get this iron formed up. And then fold it over to make a bar. Well, they are explaining it very well, honestly. Is that reaction to the explanation, Chris, from work that I just gave? Uh, okay, let's do... iron axe head first here. Uh, 
All right, so we'll go ahead and smack that down. We will have to fold some corners over here to get the blade in, but honestly, it's not a heavy lift. I'll tell you, there, there's something that I use all the time now because of work, and that's the term heavy lift. Wasn't here for the explanation. Essentially, someone ran a report. It started a log um, at one in the morning and then um, they canceled the report. It didn't clear. They tried to run it again and they create a, another instance of that report. And because that log was open in SQL, um, no truncation of the other reports were happening at like two in the morning. And when the large nightly job came through, it blew up the server. There you go. Shorthand. All right, durability on this is 900. Appreciate me talking about it. Hey, no problem. It's it's oh, it's over my head. So maybe we'll get lucky. Yep, it came out. <laughs> I love my boss sometimes. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, it, it physically blew up. No, it, it, it just killed it. Look at this axe. This is a nice looking axe, this model. Oh, hey, Bunny. Can I tame these? No, no, don't go towards the field. Oh, no, you don't. You get out of here. Ugh. Ugh. There we got it. We good. We're good now. My boss literally just sent every one of us. It's just like, how do we keep users from doing dumb things like this in the future? <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know my boss, it's, it's a pretty funny statement coming from him. <laughs> okay, cabbage is growing. Let's test out this axe a little bit because we do we do need more firewood for just about everything. So we're gonna tr try and find the biggest tree that we can and chop it down with the most wood possible. That'll be the goal here. Oh look, it's a giant tree covered. What, why is this tree just, is this a dead tree or something? What happened with this? Or maybe I used it to cut off leaves for sticks. Probably that, let's cut it down. I think the game database is stable yet. That is the question we've been asking. Whoa. That tree cut down so quick and did not use very much durability. That's awesome. Um, hello, wolf. reports department to keep any hits out no we we have a reports department anything is Chris and Chap works there <laughs> um, but the, the our, our, our system has canned reports as well and so that's part of what they were doing no our, our, our reports are off like a shard and data mark like smart people God, guys. I'm gonna crunch these. Yeah. Okay. They're handling it. They're getting it done. 
I don't have to do anything anymore. Thank goodness. Let me just see if this 10 o'clock meeting is happening. suggest we lock people out of the database late at night but I don't think that's gonna fly I don't think that's gonna fly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right medium leather awesome all right let's turn all this into some firewood Right. Also, these flint spears can eat out. Take up inventory. All right, let's let's stack up our firewood here. Uh, burn through this flint axe first. There we go. Iron axe. Stack these up to the ceiling, I say. Decent amount of firewood. Uh, this is a nice little chunk. Not enough to really do another kiln run, but something. Let's go ahead in here. We'll get all this charcoal. Um, I need to make a iron shovel. Need to make a um, I don't think I'm gonna make an iron scythe. Could make an iron sword, right? Yeah, we'll make an iron sword because if we go back into the cave, I want to have a, the best weapon possible for killing our enemies. And we'll keep the bronze one as a backup. Yeah, stacking in this game feels great. Especially when you have a lot of ore and like you have like a two, two block tall or like a uh, ignit style stack. It looks makes it feel real good inside. Okay. They're still those they're still talking about long term solutions. 800 gigs used up in just two hours. Okay, so we're gonna take down this temporary kiln, our charcoal pit. We need to make a permanent charcoal pit uh, structure. I kind of wanted to have the lumber mill before that. Because to me, it kind of made sense to potentially make it around the lumber mill. Okay, so 
That'll eventually be a path. In and out. Stack that in there. Um, yeah, we'll make some high fertility soil. Need some food, need some food. Okay. And then a hoe. The high fertility soil. It's pretty good. For sure. Alright, we got that. What's the damage on the iron axe? Three three HP? Not quite as much as a iron sword, but decent. All right, uh, okay, so we need a sword. We need a shovel. Sure, prospecting pick, pickaxe. I think that's kind of it for now. Because I'm, I'm running out of places to hang items. <laughs> Just don't have enough tool racks, it seems. There we go. Alright, start the smelting process. I do need to start tanning process as well. Which I think nine hides do us here. Because each hide takes six. Nine times six is Nine should be 51. Maybe it's just squeezing an extra. I don't know. Yeah, no, it didn't let me do it. There we go. There we go. Time for a tool shed. Ooh, a tool shed would be cool. That might be linked onto the workshop, though. You would think, right? So I could make a little tool shed right here at some point. A little add-on. Right, let's get this hot enough. Go ahead, pop that off. Pop in a new one. rid of this sludge off of the iron here. Alright, and then just work this into place. Okay. Ooh. 
Oop, oop, oop. I'm deforming it. Ah, that's no good. Trying to get the timing down to where I can just hold left click. That's like the ideal for me, is that I should be able to quickly calculate where every little piece needs to go and just hold left click. Get it, get it in there, be done. All right, so that's fine. Put that on there, trim this out. God, I love blacksmithing in this game. So good. What I think would be cool is, let's say I make a um, sword or a um, spear or, or whatever, right? If I heat that item up and put it back on the anvil, I should in my opinion, get this same thing to be able to like customize the looks. Like. How cool would that be? It is very much hammer time. So this one, we got a pickaxe. Um, do shovel first, I guess. Or no, I need new shears. I need new shears. Um, This looks like shears, but who am I to judge? All right, we got those. Actually, no, I don't want to like this yet. Jeff's going to be showing up soon and ruin the party. look any different like the axe? Nope. I would have liked to see the pickaxe be a little bit more refined in iron. 
But maybe, maybe they'll do that. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Chickens, how are you doing, chicken? My chicken friends, hello. Yep, looks like you have one food portion left. Plenty of little eggs around. Don't worry, chickens. I'll get you some more food, yes. It'll last you two more days because, holy cow, you guys eat a lot of food. Hello, chickens. Do I have any more spare bowls? Might need to do a couple firings. Oh, no, we do, okay. And I do have some fat. Awesome. Because I want to, oh yeah, we're carrying double lamp. I wanna make sure this thing's lit up and no like drifter spawn. And that'll do. That'll do. Looks like you missed the chicken hunt. We did that last stream. We hunted two chickens down, and then between streams, some more showed up. You know, just let them inside. So, I don't know why they showed up, but hey, they, they maybe wanted to hang out with their friends or something. It was kind of weird, honestly. But I'm not, I'm not going to turn away some free dinner. No, no, no. I know better than that. A heavy temporal storm is approaching. Great. That is... not good. Gonna light this. Chickens, how you doing? Three eggs, two eggs. Can I take them out of these? Yes, I can. I had an interesting day, Leon. Hope you had a good one. Store that. axe away so we're gonna go ahead and make a sword first um because of this temporal storm shows up it's a heavy one i want to have a weapon befitting a heavy temporal storm it's kind of interesting that the storms scale up to kind of meet my tech level and since i went to bronze and then immediately to iron um it's getting it's getting to uh, a scary level here I wonder how they determined that, though. Okay, store those. Okay, get that in there. All right, let's trim this down. Get ourselves a sword. There's a few variants of this kind of puzzle here.
that. So now we make it into a sword. a sword. This one, I think we're going to do a shovel. And when the storm starts, we'll just don our armor. Doing good yesterday. This morning is a good start too. Oh, that's good. Left. So you're, are you, does that mean you're already like at Saturday? Don't tell me you started your weekend early. Did I miss the memo? Okay, uh, let's shift uh, some of this over. Fill the gaps there. And then... Uh, fill these a bit. come back from the future, tell me, what have you learned? Enlighten us all, please. conclusion that heavy hits just aren't worth it. Honestly, it's just more efficient to kind of know how to work the metal otherwise. All right, four damage on our new sword. Awesome, awesome. So we have some time. Let's go check on the crops. You learned how to kill Jeff, like permanently? Please, do tell. Uh, so this is a withered pumpkin vine. Can I turn pumpkins into pumpkin seed? I can't. Okay, noted. Let's see if we can get any more pumpkin out of this. I can't give it a couple good spots to maybe spread back out. Maybe the vine is kind of self-consuming and you need to regulate it a little bit. See if it spreads back over here. Dual wield time. Can I dual wield? Sad face. All right, we get some mature spelt here. We'll be starting crop rotation here soon. In fact, 
I might leave this field empty for a little bit. I'll wait for these to grow so we can move it over to this side. amount of grain. Look at this growing cabbage. Growing onions. This cabbage is getting pretty big. Maybe water the crops a bit. See if that helps anything. like I'm playing Harvest Moon now. Alright. Uh, well. Alright. He heavy temporal storm is imminent. Means we need to seek uh, some cover here. Store our seeds for the moment. Morning, Dazzer. Six years grain goodness. All right, here we go. Oh, this is a lot derpier than before. That is for sure. Let's go inside up a little bit. God, they're everywhere. There's so many. God, they literally spawn beside you. Um. If we can survive for a little bit out and about. That would be good. Please tell me they don't kill my chickens. They better not be hurting my chickens, man. Spawn in the house. Mm -hmm. 
Jeffrey, come on, man. We can we can get along, Jeffrey. No reason to like be hostile. They're inside. Excuse me. Oh, my Lord. Even with a new sword. Kind of beat me down. Set our spawn here. Is that an armored Jeff? Yeah, they're uh, they're special Jeffries. We, we we call the bigger guys Jeffries. They deserve the full title. Oh, Jeffrey, come on, man. We have 31 flax twine, which will be pretty useful. God, there's so many out there. All right, so. spawn here. There's like no downside to dying. gonna sleep through the storm. Our temporal stability is decreasing. You can see the gear. It's kind of draining its color. Alright, we slept till midnight. That's fine though. So when, if your temporal stability decreases, what you can do is you can put that in the offhand, and then equip a knife and just hold right click and shove it into your chest. And that's how you fix that problem. You know, you just you just shove more stability into you. Brought me some food. 
and I love her dearly. So don't mind me. I'm just gonna eat some food. Um, seems like we're kind of out of food to eat up here, though. Uh, we need to cook this raw bush meat, I guess. Should do just fine. get us started for the day. Jeffrey's just up on the roof. He's having, a, he's just invited some friends over, you know. get up to temperature. We'll be good to go. take off the armor. So we can use our throwing spears when we get outside. I think that'll be a better way to deal with these guys. Kite them around now that they aren't spawning anymore. Kite them around. Hit them with the uh, bronze javelin strategy. When you throw a javelin, it does 6.5 damage. <laughs> Pretty good. Don't mind me, I just spilled all my food on myself. It tastes great. It's awesome. Yeah, that was really hot. Ow, I had to catch it with my hand. All right, it's a good day. Mm -hmm. I just need to get enough food up so I can go outside and run around. Chat, do you have any plans for the weekend? What are you all going to get into? Alright. I have my food in real life too, so we're good to go. Just get one shot in. Let's try this again. There are a lot of them. For sure. Lure them around a little bit. Get them spread out. Look at the fireflies. They look pretty. Oh man, 
And there's normal Jeffs, there's Jeffreys. They're all over the place. Oh my lord, there's so many. Gonna be doing the song and dance for a little bit. Seems. Quickly, quickly. If I get hit once, I'm probably dead here. Let's go around. Probably play more of this, maybe re explore the Valheim worlds. Nice. Yeah, you don't have to aim much since they kind of walk into you. Which is good. <laughs> Except for even though I don't have to aim, I still suck. Snuck up on me. <laughs> Why are there so many Jeffries? Okay, uh. can see again. And my sword. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's reinforcing his army. He's trying to take my lands. <laughs> Look, there's even normal Jeffries amongst them now. Okay, almost died. Cut through here. Keep running. Oh my god. I felt that so bad. I got stuck on my own forge. Excuse me, Jeffrey. Excuse me. Yes, thank you. Jeffrey standing up there, yes. <laughs> yeah, the blinky ones are jerks. Man, they keep coming out of the woodwork and surrounding me. I am getting hosed. But I spawn here, so, you know, am I really that poor off? have so many Jeffries to harvest. Is there a Jeffrey in here? Oh my god, there is!
Okay. Let's go ahead and skin all the Jeffries. Hold the gears. I mean, if they drop any. It's kind of the corrupted one that's mostly to drop the gears. My experience. This is a tier four Jeffrey. Uh, we're okay, guys. The the normal corrupted ones, those are Jeffreys, right? Um, but the nightmare ones, those are Jeffersons. Huh? What do you guys think? We'll call so this is a Jeffrey, but the nightmare ones are Jeffersons. It's okay, calm down. Calm down, chickens. You're fine. Also, give me your eggs. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Alright, any more of these guys to skin? I killed a few back here, but they might have already despawned. Nope. This is a Jeffrey. Oh, shoot! Joffreys? Joffreys would be good, too. That's a good Joffrey name. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, store that, store that. Gears, though I'm pretty sure I have another place for gears. Yep. I'm up to 13 gears. Let's go check on the beehive. So we'll go see if we can move our skep over. Jeffster? Nah, 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 nah. Jester's too hip of a name. That just sounds like he's our friend. Jeff Jeffries aren't our friend. Oh man, look how quickly this cuts through the peat. I think Jefferson or Joffrey because because as they become more powerful we have to give them more and more respect okay Jeffster sounds like a baby Jeffrey like a level negative one Jeffrey all right Get our hive. Did I lose another backpack, chat? When you die, do you have a chance to just permanently drop a backpack? Or it gets destroyed or something? Is anyone able to verify that? 
I'm gonna run around the the hut and see if I'm missing something. Or is it because it goes on a back slot? Oh, that's the old, that's because that's the, holy cow, more Malachi? The only reason you say that is because Game of Thrones exists. Otherwise, Joffrey is a very good name. Like some mushrooms. While we're out here. Gives us more food options long term. You hope not, but you don't know. Yeah. I mean, I have enough leather to make some more backpacks. Also, I have a hand basket. Why do I have a hand basket? I went from like really good inventory to not so good inventory all of a sudden i had three backpacks in a bag and now i have a backpack a bag and a hand basket in a beehive i'm very concerned about this some work stuff sorry guys never lost a bag but maybe it's difficult setting i mean i'm playing on normal which is the basic game difficulty i mean i died quite a few times so i wouldn't be surprised if also how do i place this if it goes in my bag slot Um, I'm very confused on how to place this populated scap. Let's um save and leave the world real quick and reload. I've had some weird inventory things happen before in this game. Did it break? They don't have durability, so I don't know where they went. Like, how am I supposed to place a scap down that's populated? Can I not? Scap. Obtained by breaking populated scap. 
Guys. It takes this. Okay, carry and use control plus scroll wheel to select that backpack slot. <sighs> quick at some of the places I died or maybe when I picked up the uh, the scap it just replaced an empty backpack backpack slot that I had or something I mean I'm gonna have to Apparently you can press control and you can select them to put down. It's just a very odd mechanic. It's not super well described and very specific. Let's go back over here to the beehive. I should have brought in a replacement skip. I don't know why I'm making this run so many times. I don't, I don't need to. fine. That's fine. Not gonna worry about it. We have more leather working uh, in the making, so. I had to make uh, two new, I'm gonna make just, yeah. Two new backpacks. That's fine. I think I'll live. We're gonna have to store these mushrooms and stuff. Our little homestead looks pretty good with the lower farm fence now. Our pumpkins have now withered on the vine. I think it would be cool if I could get a seed out of some of these weathered vines. But I also may have planted too many of them like too close together here. I think it might be you didn't have an open slot for it and go in and s Yeah. Maybe. Might have also just despawned already. And honestly, I'm lucky that uh, it doesn't look like I had anything super important in those slots. So I have my iron shovel still, I have my iron sword still. Um, Pickaxe is there, that's there, the chisel's there. Did I lose my iron hammer? Nope, didn't lose my iron hammer. Yeah, no idea. Okay, we'll grab those and uh, mushrooms will keep up here for now. Cook a good sized meal. Real 
real fast. Is cooking. Let's see what else can I store? We got a whole bunch of extra sticks here. here at our chickens. Another egg. Take that. Thank you, chickens. We need to locate more iron at some point. We need to get more bloomeries established. Potentially do another firing of bronze. How the bees doing over here? Oh, they're already they're already propagating. So nearby fit flowers fifty one. <laughs> fifty one nearby flowers. Yeah, they're gonna propagate on all four. How will I know if they have honey? Maybe I'll look at it one day and we'll just kind of say there's honey to harvest. Skip this rock. Or just throw it in the field. That's fine too. Alright. We'll store these spears. Good uh, food here. Awesome. All right, for Gambison chest piece. Actually, let's get a new armor stand. Two thatch and five plank. Okay, where are you gonna jet? There's a fun thing and I'll bet the homestead's looking pretty sweet though. Have a good one. Thanks, Clint. It tells you and the honey's like looking out. Okay, good enough. Look, it's, it's already up. up three um wait where, where am i going I'm, i feel like i'm going crazy like i'm so distracted with work and everything right now sorry
Okay, armor stand accomplished. This will be for the gambeson armor. All right, and we need one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, eleven. take five total so that's going to be a little bit third has no flowers it sometimes it takes a little bit to update that yeah see 48 nearby flowers we'll swarm in less than a day So we just propagated from one hive to four hives. Which I can look into, even though this A-frame isn't built yet, we can go ahead and try and propagate to eight total hives. I think that would look that would be good for us to do. And then I need to make a straw dummy here. Looks so silly. <laughs> I got a little friend. You just tuck him under my shoulder, carrying him around. All right. Good there. Um, there's a trader up to the north or something, right? Isn't there like a trader somewhere? I might not mark him. I thought I did. Oh yeah, he's over here by the beehive. Grab a scythe and maybe um, expand the cattail farm. We'll make like a proper kind of shoreline cattail farm for future use because we're going to need reeds anyways for stuff. put it over there. I think that's going to be a good spot for it. I just, I just don't want to have to wait out here every time to get reeds.
Oh, nice relaxing time. Here in like 12 minutes, guys, I have to go to a quick meeting uh, for work. I'll just like pause the stream for a second. But nothing I can really do about that unless they canceled it. Come over here to this little crux. And I want air pretty much within three blocks of the shoreline. I think it's fair. You can play, I could place them between my farm plots, but I don't want to mix cattails in my farm. Because I'm going to be building a little pathway between the farm plots rather than having the water there the whole time. It'll be a pathway above the water. By the way, not like placing the water itself. Uh, if we take a look at some skeps here, all right. Growing cabbage is fine, growing onions are fine. Flax is growing, carrots are growing. Oh, let's see, they haven't really regained their nutrients. Bone meal. Doesn't give any K, but it gives P and some N. It's a little rough on... What's P? So onions are P. Whatever these grains were, I think that was rye and barley. They can be kind of replenished with bone meal. things to propagate over this way. And what am I getting some fences made here too? Long term. How many hives do most people build in this game? Like, what's, what's a good number of hives? This, I need to try this real quick.
Yeah, I'm gonna center the staircase here and just not put a door on it. So we have some vertical walls up through here. What is that? Oak. Luckily, this should be a bit quicker than the last time. I'm carving this out. Oh wait, I'm being super inefficient. It doesn't even go all the way over. It goes to there. Um, that's a problem. Fences are a problem. I'm gonna pick this up for a moment. And leave them off. Because I might have to shift the fence over by one block here. Just so we don't get that weird join going on. Potash was potassium, right? Uh, potash is a lot of K fertilizer. And then actual fertilizer, compost, is a lot of N. Saltpeter is K. Compost is N. Man, I'm gonna have to build signs. Can I build a sign? Yes. Two planks and a thing. Ooh, you can make a label chest. Okay, noted. Saves uh, blocks, I guess. Stone. Ah, eh, we can sleep. It'll be daylight. Let's actually take off our winter clothes. I don't think we need them anymore. In fact, we'll probably destroy them. Because it's just not necessary.
I have some more of these fence pieces somewhere. All right, chat. I'm gonna mute myself um, and audio for a bit since I have to take this work thing. Um, apologies, but that's just how it's gonna have to go. So, give me a little bit. And we'll, uh, we'll be right back.
Alright guys, actually I have some bad news. Uthris will have to end the stream a bit early today. Um, I need to focus on this and make sure it's good to go. So, um, sorry, just a two hour stream today. Did not nearly as productive as the last one. But that's just how it is. Um, with that, thank you guys as always for coming out. Be back uh, probably tomorrow. I'll probably be doing some streams. Um, but otherwise, I don't quite know. Hope you guys have a good weekend though. And I'll talk to you real soon.